Wave Squad, what up? <laughs> yeah, hey, it's good to be back. I love, I love this. I love doing this. I love speaking this. I love telling the Wave Squad, what up? You feel me? Today, we diving in deep. Why I got fired from three jobs in a row <laughs> and what I learned from this. You feel me? This is for all my people out there that be feeling out of place when you go to work. That be looking at the clock like, okay, if I just survive four more 30 minute periods, I'll be out of here. <laughs> like, this is for all those people who just can't seem to figure out why they can't live quote unquote normally like everybody else. You know what I mean? And be, you know, happy just doing your your quote unquote job this is the truth y'all this is the this is the big truth you suck at jobs i suck the jobs <laughs> like it, it's a skill like most people <laughs> like will discount the fact that it is a true skill to get up every day and use your energy to let me word this in the right way, you feel me? And use your energy to put forth more value to someone else's process than your own. Unless you're using the job as a stepping stone, unless you truly love the job, unless, you know, all those other factors. But we're talking about the people who are knowingly going to these jobs, knowingly unhappy, knowingly upset, knowingly not feeling right knowingly knowing they're going about to get fired at any point in time you feel me like all that means is you're not supposed to be there you got a whole nother purpose you and me what i realized and what i learned is i had to create my own job you feel me i had to be the creator of my own economy i had to run my world you feel me completely you feel me like nobody else can tell me what i'm supposed to do where i'm supposed to go all these things you feel me and it, it came from a, a super deep place within the last job i got fired from the last job i got fired from <laughs> man like i knew i was gonna get fired but let me let me tell you all the story so first of all we had like these little tests we had these little quizzes and stuff that we had to like pass uh you know and uh I would never study for any of them. You know what I mean? All my coworkers after work <laughs> would be like, hey, <laughs> aren't you going to study for the test with us? And, you know, and I was just like, well, no, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go go to the gym, make some beats. <laughs> you feel me? And like, and it was crazy to me that our job expected us to work after work. <laughs> you feel me? So like that already wasn't sit right with me. You know what I mean? So like, you know, failed all the tests. And the way this job worked was that they would like, have people pick out people from their test results you know what i mean they would have like managers and stuff be like okay i want this guy for this job and this guy for this job and point blank nobody picked me for months <laughs> you feel me why because i failed all the tests easily you know what i mean i was failing all the tests i was doing terribly and to some people they would probably think they were a failure in life they would probably think that that it was because they sucked you know what I mean? Like they inherently were a terrible person. Like all those kids that feel bad about getting bad grades in school and all that. I'm telling y'all, that stuff is just not meant for us. You feel me? We meant to be out here creating our own path. We have something within us that needs to be birthed. Do you feel me? Like we have something within us that needs to be birthed to the world and we cannot waste any second, bro. We cannot waste any second doing anything else you feel me because every one of those seconds is taking away from the quality of the thing that we're birthing into the world you feel me like and there's a lot of us out here and i sometimes i beg to think that everybody's like this at a deep core but <laughs> you know that's i'm just biased you feel me i might just be biased to say that but like really yo if you if you resonate with what i just said about you know always getting fired from jobs making bad grades at school because none of it interests you and you just 
you just always feel like ev everything is unfulfilling. You know what I mean? Yes, shout out the bird for the good luck. That means you're meant for a greater purpose. How to find this purpose? How to find this purpose? Meditation, this is how I find mine, you feel me? Meditation and aligning with my soul, you feel me? And this was the, the, the greatest time that I aligned with my soul was when I was separated from everybody. Like I was, I was pretty alone for a while, you know what I mean? Like I was just, like all I had was me. <laughs> like I didn't really have many friends to hang out with because a lot of my friends kind of, quote unquote friends, kind of stopped hanging out with me. I mean, I, I can see why I was, I kind of became an introvert because just nothing, nothing resonated with me anymore. Nothing from my old life resonated with me. I, I could feel that I was going through some sort of transformation process and a lot of people could be here. A lot of people could be in this cocoon, in your cocoon phase, you know, where you just ducked off, you in the dark, you know what I mean? You just, you just figuring things out. Shout out my G Young Lee, shout out my G Wolfgang Steele. You feel me? He's the one that we had this conversation about breaking out of the cocoon eventually and becoming the butterfly you meant to be. Because when you become that butterfly, what you're gonna do is give that gift that you have to the world. Gifts, plural, you feel me? Those true gifts that you were created to give, you feel me? And when you give it, you'll just make the soul louder, you feel me? If you listen to my music, you'll know where that comes from, you feel me? Or it's, it's coming soon, you feel me? But y'all, that's really the point of this video. Like if you feel out of place in your job, if you feel out of place in school, if you feel out of place wherever you at, just know that it's your spirit trying to birth something. And you got to, you got to, you got to listen because somebody out there needs you. Somebody out there crucially, crucially needs you. It could even be the planet. It could even be the earth. It could even be some dogs. It could even be some whales. Something out there needs the true you. You feel me? That's why it's vitally important that we never ignore that call. When we, if we never ignore that discomfort of being at somewhere we're not supposed to be. And we go full force, full force into what we're meant to do. The Most High will take care of us. The Most High will make sure we're good in all moments. You feel me? All we got to do is trust and go forward. That's really the topic for today. I want y'all to stay blessed. I want y'all to say love. And I want y'all to say way squad.